drop it. Uh, lost, lost engine, lost engine. UK, that's the end. Thank you, you can jump out. It's lights out and away we go. Perez does get away well, comes over to cover off Leclerc. Carlos Sainz is forced to the outside. Max Verstappen getting keen on the inside uh, with Carlos Sainz, but Perez leads him through the first corner. From Leclerc, Verstappen getting past Carlos Sainz. Hamilton ahead of the fast starting Williams. It's Perez now, ahead of Charles Leclerc. Then comes Max Verstappen. Sainz, Esteban Ocon, George Russell, and Fernando Alonso in the other Alpine. Getting detached to the back is Joe Guan Yu in the Haas. And there goes Kevin Magnussen battling away with Pierre Gasly through turn eight. That was very close indeed for Sergio Perez. Job well done. He's got away at the start and he's stretching his lead. There's Pierre Gasly in the Alpha Tauri ahead of Lando Norris. Tenth place for him and the two Alpines going for it. Fernando Alonso almost in the wall, certainly in the dust and still behind his teammate Esteban Ocon. Oh dear, that was late. Here we go again. He's definitely a lot closer this time. Is he just going to go for the outside or dummy him? I wonder why you were grinning. Here we go. Fernando Alonso gets past Esteban Ocon. Can he make the move stick? Goes deep into the corner. Ocon is going to fight this back again, you know, and has to concede as Fernando Alonso just puts the squeeze on him coming out of turn two. And box two overtake. Box two overtake. So are Red Bull going to respond here? Out come Ferrari, out come Red Bull too. So Sergio Perez is going to pit and Charles Leclerc. No, Charles Leclerc is going to carry on. The Ferrari crew were out, ready, waiting with a set of tyres for him. Ferrari maybe have called the bluff here and have forced Red Bull into an earlier stop than they wanted. And we've got a yellow flag because we've got a Williams into the barriers. And for the second day running, that Williams is Nicholas Latifi. And this could change dramatically, not just his race, but everyone's race, because that's going to be a safety car, surely. So Perez pitting at the most unluckiest time that he could possibly pit. One lap before the virtual safety car, followed by the safety car, has now gone from leader to third. And Charles Leclerc inherits the lead of the race by staying out. Push me off. I was ahead. The fire needs to judge this. I think I was ahead at the safety car. Okay, we are checking. And I think in the middle of the safety car to push someone off is dangerous. Charles Leclerc is holding it a bit before he can blast down the main straight. Carlos Sainz is right behind Sergio Perez. As down into turn one we go. Leclerc leads Verstappen. Perez leads Carlos Sainz. Down the inside goes George Russell on Kevin Magnussen. Russell's pulled off a brilliant move on the house of Kevin Magnussen. And George Russell makes his way up into fifth place. Checker, we need to give up the position to Sainz after the restart. We do the restart. Uh... In comes Valtteri Bottas for a second pit stop in this race. I wonder what they're going to throw on oh. to Bottas's car. Ooh, oh, that's a slow moving Fernando Alonso. Is there a problem? He's looking there as his teammate Esteban Ocon goes past. Oh, by the way. Coming up, looking at it. I have an issue. We've got another problem out there, and this one is for Daniel Ricciardo. And I wonder if there's an overheating problem here too. I got no drive. Okay, copy. Yeah, I can't. I can't accelerate. Valtteri Bottas is being retired from this race in the Alfa Romeo. Said he was coming in for a pit, uh, pit stop. That's the third time he's been into the pits. And Hamilton might have wanted to come in. Car slowing down. Box, box, box. Oh. Too late. Well, it was too late by a few hundred meters. They say they love this sort of scrap. Well, let's see who comes out on top. Verstappen's got DRS. He's going to try and go around the outside. Oh, Charles Leclerc, he does. Max Verstappen takes the lead of the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. Now, Charles Leclerc is going to have DRS to try and fight it back. Do you remember when Verstappen did this twice in Bahrain and it didn't pay off? It might be a third time that Charles Leclerc has proven hanging back is better. But they're almost going wheel to wheel. Verstappen moves across and uh, Charles Leclerc goes deep but holds on to the lead of this race. Now it's a game of chess. This is going to be interesting. Well, he's got DRS again, Verstappen. Can he stave off oh, his he's... natural instincts <laughs> as they both lock up? 
Charles Leclerc goes through ahead. And they were both looking up in dramatic fashion there. But Verstappen has come out worse from that final corner. And even though he's got the DRS, Charles Leclerc has got a bigger advantage out in front than he did have going into the final hairpin. And he stays ahead again. Verstappen pointless after the first race. Leclerc is the championship leader. Verstappen on the inside. This time is just hanging back a little bit. Has patience finally found its way into Max Verstappen's vocabulary and vernacular and is the patience going to pay off here because Verstappen has got DRS down the main straight Charles Leclerc can't cover him off Verstappen takes the lead of the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix and there are many in the grandstands who like that as Leclerc goes too deep into turn two Verstappen leads and it's been building and building can Verstappen now hold off Leclerc and now you don't need patience because they're going to be racing to the chequered flag here. And it's not like Verstappen can come back this at is Leclerc. It. If Leclerc can't get this move done or can get this move done, out of the final corner, Max Verstappen emerges in front. Such a close battle once again. And this time around, it's Max Verstappen that wins out. He takes victory in the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. And Charles Leclerc comes home in second place. It's a Ferrari double on the podium as Carlos Sainz manages to take third. Meanwhile, Lando Norris is having a go into the final hairpin with Esteban Ocon. Can Ocon, who got out dragged to the line and missed out on the podium here last year, lose another place right at the last? Ocon just stays ahead of Lando Norris. But as it is, by half a second, the last classified finisher in the first race of the season is the first driver home here in Saudi Arabia tonight. Max Verstappen, your winner.